What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Morningstar as part of my Does It Suck series. Now the Morningstar is a unique Hyperion sniper rifle that is rewarded for the Hyperion contract quest that you get out in the Highlands Overlook where it asks you to kill a hundred bandits for weapon testing, and the optional quest objectives are killing enemies with different element types, and I always thought that was kind of fun because you had to kill 25 with each type of element, and I thought it was kind of neat. Anyway. Um, the Morningstar, if we compare it here to the Diamond Sniper Rifle, which is just a Hyperion Sniper Rifle, made with a similar part set up here, it's just the Hyperion chassis with the Malawan barrel, and if you get that combination, it's actually called Sniper Rifle, which I think is a pretty um, straightforward name. Anyway, in comparison, the Morningstar has decreased damage, and all the other stats are virtually the same. The accuracy is 0.3 lower, and obviously the chance to corrode is very negligible. Anyway, um, the Morningstar has the special effect of a stacking critical ascension type deal. Um, I'm not exactly sure how high it can stack, but if you get multiple critical hits in a row with the Morningstar, you begin to stack critical damage, and you'll notice your stack, or not, you won't notice any stacks, I should say, but you'll notice your damage increasing, you know, if you get multiple shots in a row like that. And that's not just due to rising shot and critical ascension, it actually has that built into the gun. However, I'd prefer just to use the regular diamond sniper rifle because that higher base damage pretty much um, makes up for the Morningstar special effect. In addition, you can get this one with the diamond skin, which also adds a little bit of critical damage, which further negates this one's special effect. The um, supplemental special effect on the Morningstar is that, kind of like the Bane and some other weapons, it talks to you when you reload or kill an enemy, shoot an enemy in a critical spot. I'm not exactly sure what all of its audio triggers are, but that's what it does. Now, um, the Morningstar is definitely not going to suck. It's a sniper rifle with a decent base damage. If we compare it here to a Malawan Snyder, we can see that um, the base damage is significantly lower on the Morningstar. The fire rate is lower as well. But the Snyder is a really, really powerful weapon. And you can see that even though the Morningstar has lower stats, it's still going to be pretty damn powerful. So we're going to use it here in the Washburn Refinery and see if we can get good results with it. Um, you know, obviously it's going to kill things very, very easily. With a sniper rifle spec to zero, any sniper rifle with a decent critical hit dam or not critical hit damage, excuse me, base damage is going to work really, really well, especially if it has a decent fire rate, and this one definitely does. Now, in addition to that, we will be stacking critical uh, ascension when we get critical hits with it, and also we will be um, stacking critical damage via its special effect as well. Turn towards me. There we go. As you can see, we're getting one-shot kills um, on some enemies that are kind of far away and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, that's what sniper rifles are for. Doo -doo -doo. Looks like we got a hot loader over here. Probably good to go ahead and take him out before he gets another stack of uh, fire damage over time on us, because obviously that is always quite irritating. We'll take this guy out without slag here, so you can see that... It it's powerful even without slag once we have a few stacks of critical ascension. And the Morning Star, it always says annoying things. That's the type of um, verbiage or wording that they gave it. It is always going to say things that are kind of annoying and stuff, so... You know, it's kind of funny. It's not that annoying. It's not loud like the Bane is, so it's pretty easy to ignore and stuff. And you don't really have to worry about it too much. We'll take out this badass loader real quick. Um, and then I'll go ahead and get some more ammo. Looks like I got kind of low on grenade ammo here. It's not really that big a deal, though, because I can just open these chests here. And since I had four grenade ammo when I opened all these chests... These chests should be um, fairly generous with their grenade drops. So that's good there, and the gun is fairly ammo efficient as well. Um, like I said, it has that decently high base damage, and it's got um, a decent fire rate as well. I know the fire rate's kind of low there. We're boosting it with my Chaotic Neutral Rogue Com. Someone asked me what uh, I was saying when I said Chaotic Neutral Rogue Com. I think COM stands for Class Optimization Module. I'm pretty sure about that, not entirely sure. But I think that's the case.
Excellent. I guess I can get a few critical hits off this guy. Start building my critical ascension. I'm not going to let these loaders kill themselves. I'm going to go ahead and get critical hits off them to kill them. Because that will give me a little bit more critical ascension for the later parts of this room. Which will help. As you can see, I'm starting to rip through these enemies pretty quick. I'm not exactly sure how high the Hyperion, or the Morningstar rather, special effect can stack critical hit damage. But um, it might be kind of significant because it seems to be dealing quite a bit of damage here. You know, um, obviously it's taking out these enemies pretty quickly now. Excellent. I missed a couple shots there. That's kind of bad with a Hyperion sniper rifle because they are laser accurate. If you miss, it's definitely your fault. Don't even need slag too much to take out all of these guys. Wow, that was off element, um, and it took him out pretty quickly, too. If that guy would get slagged, I would go ahead and finish him off. There we go. We'll run into this next room. I'm not too worried about ammo yet, so I'm just going to charge ahead and start shooting things because I should still have around 30 stacks of critical ascension by the time I get a shot off. Excellent. And that's going to help us tear through these guys pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, this gun's a wreck. Um, I'm not exactly sure how well it would compare to a regular Hyperion sniper rifle. Um, I showed you there that the regular Hyperion sniper rifle had a higher base damage and everything, but um, I'm not exactly sure how needed that is because the critical hit effect on this weapon seems to be working pretty damn well in reality. Wow. It is tearing through these guys. This weapon, I don't know if it's worth actually doing some other maps with this weapon or if I need to put some more time behind the stock of a Hyperion sniper rifle in general because this weapon is just... <laughs> this, weapon, this weapon's killing things very, very, very easily. Um, it's very easy to maintain critical ascension with too because it is so laser accurate really can't complain any any type of way about this gun uh... it is kind of annoying i guess but how annoying is it when you wreck the enemies this quickly um, i'm not sure if i had mistakenly activated the glitch when i was showing you how the weapon fired earlier i don't think i did but maybe i did i don't know um, i don't think so come here there we go Almost died there, that would have been embarrassing, but I didn't. So now these enemies are in four player uh, damage mode and everything, so, and health mode, so they take a little bit longer to kill, but it's not that bad. I guess we'll just go ahead and try to take out the badass loaders in the Hurley room because so far we're not having any trouble working through these enemies. Um, and I should still have a decent amount of critical ascension even after they're going to play this cutscene which is obviously going to cut into my critical ascension stacks which is kind of irritating oh no they're not going to play the cutscene until Hurley comes out I just need to find a badass quickly Oops, lost the connections to the Steam servers there. That's not my fault, I guess. Okay, so where's that next one? I need to get some uh, transfusion heals going. I don't know why he turned like that. That was kind of irritating. Excellent. So now we're going to get Hurley to spawn. Um, I think it should be pretty easy to take out Hurley. We'll go ahead and complete the uh, circle here in the Washburn Refinery. Once we get past Hurley, um, there's only, I think, two loaders left. And then we'll get a little chest at the end of this as well. So it'll be kind of neat. Oh, wow. I am out of... Uh, 
out of uh, slag transfusion grenades, so that's kind of scary. Probably should have brought a um, a shock version for Hurley. Oops. See if he gets slagged with that grenade there. Excellent. Once I work through his shield, we should start dealing significantly increased damage to him. Hmm, I'm going to need just a little bit more ammo, so I'm going to use this box right here to gain some more ammo real quick. Oh, it only gave me 12 rounds? Come on, game. You can do better than that. Wow, his barrels do almost nothing. Is that always the case? It's making it hard to hit that critical hit spot at the very least, I guess. Oh god, we're gonna run away now. <laughs> um, eh, so I guess it's taking a little longer to kill Hurley than I thought it would. Go ahead and try to shoot him in the hips some more. There we go, so we killed Hurley. Um, definitely my fault on running out of ammo there and stuff, but I uh, guess we can get some more ammo like this. Picking up that sniper rifle. Now we have plenty of ammo. Anywho, um, we'll go kill these last couple enemies here. And as you can see, the Morning Star definitely does anything but suck. It is a very, very powerful weapon. Hopefully he got slagged. He didn't, but I killed him anyway. Slag this one first. Or he didn't get slagged. Well, I'm going to kill him without slag, I guess. Maybe. It'd be embarrassing to die on this last enemy. There we go. So, we've worked through all of the Washburn Refinery with the Morning Star. It's a very, very powerful sniper rifle, it looks like. I'm not exactly sure how strong that critical hit stacking effect is. Um, being that it performs so well in this area, I may be inclined to go ahead and give this weapon a little bit of a closer look and see how that critical hit stacking actually works with Critical Ascension. Um, this weapon is a friend of Critical Ascension because it's got a decent fire rate and like I said it's obviously very very accurate and we were able to work through all of Washburn Refinery without too much trouble. I messed up a little bit on the Hurley fight and uh, ran out of slag grenades. I probably should have opened up some grenades, maybe in, or some chest rather, to get some more grenades. Maybe in the Hyperion or Hyperius room, and also maybe, uh, you know, that chest that was right before there probably could have helped as well. So, there you go. There's a quick look at the Morning Star. It definitely doesn't suck. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments, and I'll try to answer those for you guys. I'm kind of curious how a uh, regular Hyperion sniper rifle would perform now as well, because... This one obviously performed very well. As always, guys, I thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'd appreciate that. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.